Welcome to Liquid Courage Sailing, the tale of a man who buys a 30-year-old sailboat sight unseen and attempts to return it from Maryland to his home in South Carolina with his son. All right, we're back at it heading south this morning. It's Monday morning. Heading down the canal from Alligator River to the Pungo River. We're going to make a stop in Bellhaven. We've got a couple of little things we're going to have to do. We're going to have to get the head pumped out again. I'm not sure how we're, we keep filling that up so quickly. I know I've been told full of shit all my life, but this is ridiculous. I don't know if that's what's happening on that, but that's got to get pumped. We need a, we're going to need a VHF antenna. That has uh, crapped out on us. We knew about that. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're heading into Bellhaven. We may stay there for the night even. Get a few things worked on and fixed. Um, VHF antenna is kind of important. You know, started beautiful anchorage last night. You start realizing just how damn far isolated you are from anything. Um, had a handheld VHF radio, but Dad brought the wrong charger for that. So that's no longer operable. Uh, no cell service, no data was not where we were at. So you start realizing, man, you know, where would you go in the event of emergency here? Back to Elizabeth City, or up that way, or, you know, at night. You can't run this canal at night. So, yeah, um, we joke around a little bit like this is a bit of a space capsule. Well. I gotta tell you, it felt like a space capsule last night, or yesterday. Um, not scared or anything, because I'm, I'm, uh, I have spotty cell service. Worst case scenario, I'm pretty sure I could have run this phone up the mast in a bag or something, had a personal hotspot, and knock it, get a signal down to a different, another device, an iPad or something. So, you know, there's ways of doing it. The other thing is jump in the dinghy. That thing will fly. It's got a 15 horsepower engine on it. It's a little uh, RIB that uh, get up and scoot. But I don't want to have to think about emergency plans like that. I want to be able to get on that VHF and say, hey, we are in trouble. So, you know, it's just one of those things that little mistakes start adding up to where the next thing you know, you found yourself in trouble. So, I want to get make sure we get into Bell Haven here, which is about 30 miles up the canal here. Uh, well, the canal is about 20, like 24 miles, and then Bell Haven's another 10 miles on. So hopefully we'll get stopped there. There's a nice little marina downtown that uh, should have access to almost everything we're, we're needing. As soon as I get some cell service here, call ahead to the marina. Hopefully locate a VHF antenna. Send Dad back up the mast, get that thing hooked up. We can get rolling. Hey, look at there. It's a bald eagle. This is cool. Dad. That. That's a bald eagle. Wow, that's cool as hell. Yeah, man, this is weird. We haven't seen... A structure of any kind for miles. I mean, this whole area is about as isolated as you can get. I mean, a little. It wear on your nerves a little bit when you start thinking, hell, you know, it's not like we got to sink or not. If they slip and break a leg or what have you, it's going to be a minute. But before you can get to anywhere. Anyway. Want to give a quick update there. Really great night last night, though. Woo. That anchorage was beautiful. I mean, that's what you do the hard work for, I believe. All right, I'm out. I'll update later.
How are we doing? We got a damn piece of wire on here that was supposed to hold the, the key. Of course, it's broken. It got in the way, so I had to pull it back out. Got shit all over the boat. Perfect. You want to jump on board and uh, when this gets like done, we'll run some water into the tank. Okay. in North Carolina here for a little fuel run. So if this old diesel here, looking for a place to pull in and to blow out of uh, Bellhaven. Those folks didn't seem very, uh, very hospitable, quite frankly. Anyway, we didn't need the diesel that bad then, we just needed it pumped out. So we got pumped out. Kept heading south. So here we are. Hopefully we're gonna pick up some fuel. Be able to keep on getting it. So good deal. Got some fuel in there, had a little issue with the, with the jerry cans here. I'm trying to get those filled. No issues, we're back heading south. Trying to make more yellow tonight. Mm -hmm. 